What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Perk After Dark. We do have a special guest today. Yes. Yes, and I'm on lots of edibles, so I'm going to buckle up right now because this is going to be a crazy fucking episode, boys. Did you just put a seatbelt on? Yes, I did. <laughs> I am a- fucking pumped for this one. Yeah, I'm pumped for this one because everybody knows over the years we've been talking about aliens and fucking UFOs, what are now called, what are they called now? UAPs. UAPs, UAPs. exactly. Sorry, edibles. What does UAP stand for? Um, I'm not very Unidentified aerial phenomenon. That's right. And we've got a special guest here today, MJ. This MJ, who is probably maybe one of the world's leading experts on the (laughs) subject these days. Yes. Because there's a lot of shit Very going on. Very exciting. a lot of shit going on. We've got a lot of questions. Bubs, you want to get to it? Well, no. I don't I don't even know where to start. Well, maybe MJ can give us a little in- introduction about his journey to get to this place. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it starts, you know, like most journeys with people, a lot of trauma in childhood, you know. Different things happening, and the the reason I discuss this first is that it leads to um, a spiritual awakening. So growing up, you know, I had all kinds of things, traumas, you know, chaos in the home, alcoholism, tough things to deal with at any age, and, you know, yes. we've got to so learn to sucks. release. Yes. Yeah, we got to learn to release these things, and as things got going on, you know, you start drinking, you try to, to cope with things, this is what, you know, you self-medicate, and uh, I got to a point where nothing was working, your ego's broken, you just... You know, I was born Catholic because that's when I was born. Then you become atheist, whatever, then agnostic. And I just you just reach up to the heavens and say, look, if there's something out there, you know, completely sober, I said, just, just let me know it's going to be okay. Yeah. And that was the moment, my very first mystical experience. And as soon as I said that, this energy came out of my heart, radiated through my whole body, and enveloped me in just pure love, bliss, timelessness. It was just the most amazing feeling. Really? That that's you could ever have. Shit. How long ago would this be? This would have been in 2001. 2001, okay. So this makes like, if you've ever done MDMA, it's it's like nothing even close. This totally beats it by, you know, a long shot. Copy that. Not that I would know. (laughs) But seriously, so so then I'm sitting on my bed and I said, just, are you sure? And then it happened again. And this sort of opened, you know, the spiritual journey. And I got into different mystical things started to happen to me. Like I was driving my car one time and, Suddenly, intu- intuitively, I realized that there was a piece missing to my car, and it was part of the console, and I reached down, and yeah, there's a hole in my car now. What's going on? So pull over, and can't find this thing. And three years later, I have a dream that the piece is back, sitting on the, <laughs> on the carpet behind the driver's seat. Get up at 5.30 in the morning, go down there, pick up the piece, and put it back in. Like, just like mystical, wow, really magical crazy. shit. That's not even acid or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing, nothing. Like <laughs> shit. So, like he's done some he's, stuff for- Similar to that. But he was on acid <laughs> when he did shit like True, that. True, but I, mem- I remember you were missing pieces of the car, and then you found them later. Remember? Well, he thought he it's lost his one. wang for a little while. Remember that one? You yeah. Freaking out for about five hours. That. This is different, though. That is totally this is different. very different. So, so anyway, as, as we got into the pandemic, I was in the, another one of these dark night of the souls where I was being forced to clear all this trauma, and I realized that, you know, i got to get it all out. Yeah. You know, the, the buck stops here. My kid wasn't going to live the life I had, you know, in the homes, yelling, screaming, whatever. So, like, happened to many, many people, you know, divorce, all sorts of things, you know, yeah. healing this traumas and stuff like that. And um, culminated into something just about a month and a half ago, which has been called enlightenment, nirvana, realization. And it started a week and a half before where my nervous system was just super hyper and i'm thinking like please just help me out i can't handle this yeah and in a dream i had the brightest flash of the white light you know the one they say you go to the light when you yeah. die yeah yeah i absolutely thought i was dying and i was totally relaxed about it i'm like okay well this is the end so whatever let's get her going but then i woke up and i was like cool what was that then you know so then i researched it just you know connect to source or whatever you saw the light whatever yeah and then i'm week and a half, two weeks later, when I became enlightened, I'm sitting at home watching TV, and it's like a lightning bolt came through my head, and it just ripples through, and everything just goes, just let's go. You and I felt that? Yeah, it's just like, wham! That's and then crazy. it's like everything, like, that because, me out. because all your lives are happening at the same time, there's only one moment in time, right? So yeah. it's the now. So if you think of the yeah. past, you're bringing it to now. If you think of the future, you're bringing it to now. So everything's happening. Right. And there really is no future. You're just moving towards it. 
it's coming towards you, right? Yeah, and every decision is changing the future and the past, which is really blow your noodle, right? You know, right. You know, so science is proving this, multiverse and all this sorts of stuff. So all the lives collapse into one, and then you have access to all the wisdom in all those lives instantly. And fucking shit, man. I told okay. you this is trippy. So <laughs> all right. So then what, what happened is you become absolutely fearless and absolutely free to, to be in your maximum power as a human being, which is super trippy. So what happened in that time, it automatically, it just went like this. I am that I am, which if people are religious or have heard this before, just, I don't know, you just know who you are and it just came out. So fast forward, a couple things happen, get somebody to channel the Archangel Michael, which is a longer story. And um, I go and I reach out for a personal message from the Archangel Michael and this is where it gets really out of this world. <laughs> it's not out of his world already? Okay, keep it going. No, it's getting wait. worse. Can't wait. It's getting crazier. So, so, then, so then the Archangel's message for me is like, you're actually a soul from Arcturus who came to Earth in Atlantean times and have lived in Atlantis, Lemuria, and ancient Egypt as a spiritual teacher. And then I realized something. I was just going to back up a little bit to 12 years ago. I had seen white orbs. Okay, these, this is where we're getting into the UAP and UFO. Okay. okay, the orbs. So I was at a fireworks. I was just kind of waiting for them to start. And I looked up and there was a star. And then next thing you knew, the star just went, poof, fucking took off, gone. <laughs> like, I was like, what the hell was that? You know? That's you freaking. saw it go. Yeah, it just, I was just staring at it because it was brighter than the other ones. It just went, poof. I was wow. like, holy shit. So, the so then a couple weeks ago, we're in a nice dark area. You know, you've been to Vancouver. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Facing yep. south, the airport's behind us, but we're in farmland, so. Yeah. And as you're seeing a plane come in, it's just a white light, right? You know, yeah. on the horizon. Yeah, I said, yeah. yeah, it looked like that. So we're there, we're all watching it, talking, you know, side to side like this, watching it. And it moves up an inch, goes down an inch below where it was, and then it comes in like, wham! We all jump back, scream, then it backs up and it fades away. And really? We're, yeah, we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, no. Okay, yeah. so when it came shooting at you, how close did it get? Oh, man, it, like, it would be covering, like, you know, tens of kilometers, you know? You just, like, something that would be impossible to, so, to have. So, okay, I need to know, so let me get this straight. You see a light yeah. in the distance. It goes up, down, and then it comes shooting at you? Yeah. Holy Decent! God. Whoa. And then as, as it gets to you, we jump back, and then backs up again, and then it fades away and disappears. And like and everybody people, saw it. Yeah, everybody jumped and screamed because we're like, we're fucking done. Like, like you just oh, really like, That's so like, what was that? Decent. So, so, so now I've seen them twice, and then the couple weeks later, I go, I wonder if we'll ever see that again. They go, look, there it is, and then it takes off again. And I'm like, okay, I'm not talking about these things again because I and don't you know. You didn't. You weren't shooting it. You weren't filming. Well, you, it's it's interesting because you don't really think about that, right? It happens so fast, or your right. mind's just kind of mesmerized by it, right? Yeah, I guess you can't, you know. So, so then I said, okay, I'm not calling on these things again. So fast forward to what happened, you know, with the Arcturus thing with the Archangel Michael. I'm like, these are probably my soul family, and I'm going to call them back out. So that, that night I said, hey, in my head, I go, hey, I'm ready for you guys. If you want to come out and see me again, I'll be out tonight. So this is where it really starts. So, when you, so how do you convey that to them? Just out of your mind, or do you say it out loud? You just got to think in your mind. They'll follow me anywhere. I just think of something, and they'll be there before I get there sometimes. So it's through thoughts. Yeah, telepathy, they would call it. Yeah. Right? Okay. Energy, okay. Energy, right? So they can read all your thoughts. That's the thing that would really blow your mind. So you can't think anything that, any secret that you have, you know, they would know it all. Okay. So they could be watching Fuck. people banging and everything, like everything. Oh yeah, they can oh, see through your oh, eyes. Like you know, if you if you look at the NSA and you know some of these intelligence communities, what they talk about is, you know, they they know what's linked to consciousness, but they're not letting this out, and they have the ability to know everything because they can just get into somebody's head and read the screen what's on there. So I mean, it's like the Matrix, man. Yeah, it is the Matrix, but I wouldn't say we're hooked up to machines like getting no, you know, no, siphoning no, our energy. I don't think we're in a simulation. Well, I think we are in a simulation, but a simulation to develop our souls. So we come in here as a, as a video game. And once you realize you're in a game, you don't... You I think I'm in fear. a game all the fucking time, man. 
Because you, you're the same, you, just bad luck after bad luck after, like. He thinks he's in a money game all the time. Well, kind of, but. You, you think know what you're I mean? in a you game get, where get, the goal is to make as much money as you fucking can. But life is like a video game, man. You're like, you know, trying to kill people and shit, and then you you get killed. It's like, he's oh, fuck. way beyond money. I know, but I'm just, there's a lot of people. You don't probably think about money all the time. No, because I, I used to, and you get caught up in it. You know, when I was in this personal development thing, I was so focused on making money and trying to show that you, you know success financially and stuff like that. And, and and I, you know, I realized some stuff that you know I quadrupled my income in one year. I went from fifty five to like two hundred seven yeah. just by making some switches. Decent. And we'll and, talk. Yeah, yeah we'll talk. talk. We're going to want to talk for, about for that. Sure, for sure, for sure. I'll show you. And it's all mind power, and it's called law of attraction. But there's more to it. But you realize that money in the end isn't everything. It gives you new experiences, better lifestyle, whatever. Right. But how many people are super successful that are absolutely unfulfilled, miserable? Oh, you know, they commit yeah. suicide and all this stuff. Not, right? me. Not, Not me. If I had tons more of money, money, more pressure. I would. Be more yeah, fun. more money, more problems. More fun, right? more labor, more said. everything, yep. man. More booze. You'll never convince trips. him, never, ever, that you will ever. convince him that more money you equals more problems. You need to get problems. spiritually awakened, my friend. Hey, I could be spiritually like awakened as I'm drunk, drinking, you know, rum and coke. Take some mushrooms. The only way he will become, money. he will only become spiritually awakened with if he's got a gigantic bank account. Yeah. Then I'm sleeping in a bed of money, man. I'd be like, come on, spirits. I'm ready. Doing dives into gold coins like Uncle Scrooge oh, in the... Oh, no, yeah. He's just like the Scrooge. I'm not that fucked up, He's man. just like Scrooge. No, I'm not Scrooge. I'd be sharing it with you guys. Scroogey ways. All right, let's go back into the... Yes. This. Okay, sure. So so what you're probably seeing now is your U.S. Congress is doing some UA, UAP um, yeah. Yeah, 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 hearings yeah. and stuff like that because they're being pressured. The secret's been kept for whatever, forever, yeah. you know, thousands of years, actually. Okay. You know, they've been here forever. And they basically told many intelligence people and the spiritual community that channels or has the ability to telepathically commun with them, communicate with them as well. Yeah. I've been told that they're coming in 2026 or 2027. They're Who's going coming? to reveal themselves. I heard 2028. They Just from the... You yeah. mean they're going to like they're full gonna, on, okay, full on everybody, here. here we are. Yeah. Let's get the party started. Jesus. 27? Should so we'll, we be afraid? Or no. No, you shouldn't be. This isn't going to be Independence Day kind of thing with the, with the ship. I'm afraid for them. If anything, I'm afraid that, you know, you get some fucking idiot. Now, let's get the jets out and attack these guys. Well, they can't do anything. Well, and, I, not, and I'll tell you well, why in a second. Yeah. They're, they're not. Way. Jets aren't going to be able I know, to do they're anything. Gonna try, man. No. You know what I mean? Their technology. They're not going to give them a warm welcome. You know, unless they could just. Freeze again. Unless there's, their energy's got the spiritual energy, they'd be like, you guys are going to be fucking nice. Be nice. That would be decent. You know what I mean? But I don't well, know. I got a theory I'm going to bring up later, but keep going. Okay. Well, you think about like one of the guys, Grush, who, who's this high, high, high ranking intelligence officer with access to the, all the files. Name? David Grush. Grush, okay. He, he, was, he testified to Congress and he's got a lot of classified stuff and he told them where the bodies are and the, and the craft, right? Supposedly. Yeah. So if you look at the, uh, and Commander Fravor, and there's some other guys, um, Ryan Graves, I think, they, they all testify in front of Congress in the U.S. Yeah. And speaking of them reading your mind, they would try to chase them with their plane or yeah. try to avoid them. And I guess the, the way they, they navigate, there's waypoints where they're supposed to go to. Okay. And the UAP would just go instantly to the waypoint and wait for them, like 60 or 120 miles away. They just instantaneously Because they can fold time and just go like that and open her up. Yeah, they can pop in and out, right? They're interdimensional or, or they have the ability to warp, you know, like you said, time and space and just fold it. Yeah, like either. fold time and then you're only traveling this far and then you open her back up. Yeah. So, I can't wrap man. my head around that. That's, so they wouldn't. So there, there's Don't nothing that we could do to them. Um, if they wanted to take it over, I mean, it'd be no problem for them, but they're yeah. not here for that, right? Um, Why are they here? That's a good question. I don't think anybody really knows it. Um, okay. But on the spiritual realm, what, what people are talking about is that there's a, it's called an ascension or a move into a five, fifth dimensional consciousness, which enlightenment is like a unity consciousness, which would be considered the, the fifth dimension. Okay? Yeah. okay. You accept that everything is one. We're all just 
different unique expressions of what there is. Okay. Um, if you want to go the quantum world, you know, the entanglement where everything is connected. Yeah. You know, that's the same thing. That's the physical like string scientific. theory type stuff. Yeah, where you can have what Einstein referred to as spooky action at a distance. Yes. Where you could be at the opposite ends of the universe. Yeah. But you don't and then that let's say yes, they were entangled. Um, two particles, one would be red and one would be blue. And when they would switch to a red or blue, instantaneously, the other one would mirror the opposite. But there would be no time, zero time. It's instantaneous. Wow. And that's called entanglement. And, uh, you know, Einstein didn't really like it because he couldn't understand it. But um, but he was, he, un he, he was aware of it. He was, yes. He knew something was going on. Yeah. So, so this is what's happening is, is the vibration of the earth and everyone because of the consciousness, the, the awareness of people that are doing spiritual work and healing themselves and removing, you know, some of the blockages of generational traumas and, you know, starting to think in more of a um, positive outlook on life or being neighborly and, you know, all these sorts of things is raising up the consciousness, which is like changing the frequency on a radio station. Okay. You know, as you start to turn, not the the old mechanical dials, you remember if you didn't have it perfect, sometimes you tune yeah. into another radio station, yeah. but you yes. could hear both. Yep. And now the other dimensions are starting to blend. And it's been called the apocalypse. Not in the biblical sense, which is the end of the world. And yeah. it is, in a sense, the end of the world in the old ways of the greed, the wars, and all that stuff is going to go by the wayside. Because Good. people aren't going to put up with that, but at the same time, there's going to be a lot of chaos. But apocalypse, um, defined from the Greek word apocalypse, really just means the revealing or the unveiling. So all okay, the angels okay. and different things that were in the realm before, 2,000 plus years ago, and people were talking about, you know, we were helped by the sky gods or indigenous people, call them star people, all these sorts of things. Yeah. These theories of Atlantis existing, like, you know, 100,000 years ago so or whatever. these are aliens. Yes. Some of them were aliens, some are angels, and this is where it's starting to get really crazy because, you know, people have to get prepared that things will change quite a bit. We've got many things happening in the world at the same time. We've got climate change, whether you say that's man-made or not, doesn't really matter, but we see it. Yeah. You can't plan a trip now. You go on vacation, and I was going to go to Maui, and then the freaking place burns down, right? She was going fire. Away. Yeah. It's fucked. You know, so this is changing. Then you've got, you know, things like that happen with the pandemic, supply chain issues, all this stuff. You can't get, you know, your pepperoni or whatever, right? That's right. And then you've got the UFO, UAP type stuff that are showing up at the same time. So people are going to be pushed to the edge and some people aren't going to make it because, I mean, you're just going to snap, right? And yeah, for sure. Totally understandable. Haven't been a guy who's been literally like wanting to jump off the building and, you know, surviving it, I would say, Hang on, you can make it, and your life can transform in an instant. But it takes work, and it takes acceptance of who you are and loving yourself and having compassion. That's the number one thing, because if you could actually love yourself and have compassion for yourself, then automatically you would afford everybody that, because you know what you've had to um, overcome. Okay, right. that's, that's, pretty that's so getting deep. This is the Gandhi, if you want, be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah. The only thing that you need to change since you are everything, we're all connected, is yourself. And by doing that, you lift everybody up. Okay. I like it. I can, I can, I can dig that. Now, the thing that sucks about that, you know, there's always like a give and take with these things, is that speaking that you change your frequency, you're gonna lose like almost everybody in your life because you're Why? no longer in tune with them, right? You. Okay. It's like oil and water. It doesn't make them bad or you better or worse or whatever. What happens is, is it because they're still on their frequency and now you're at a different one and they yeah. don't? Yeah, your interests change. What you talk about changes. Um, the other thing, subconsciously, you're impacting other people, right? Because they're like, why, why are you becoming successful? Or why are you so free or whatever? Like, what's this bullshit, you know? Like, mm -hmm. come back and be with us. And they'll subconsciously they try to bring you back. Yeah. You used to be so much fun. Now you're boring, whatever or they'll attack you, whatever. And you have to be strong because you're on a different pa part of the path, you know, and there's infinite paths to only one destiny, which is the, tr the yeah. truth. And once you reach there, you know what I'm talking about, but right. there's nothing to convince anybody of anything. There's nothing to judge about anything about anybody. You're and turning the, my head into I know, a pretzel I know. here. I but know, this is- Me too. Ricky, you must, are you okay? No. I am, but I'm, this is a lot. This to is the type of things that make in. Ricky like shed his pants. This brain is not used to lots of information like that. So, so 
Yeah, so like to the UAP piece, let's get back to that because it's all related. What happens is um, my experiences with them on a daily basis now basically is, you know, it started that night where they came out and uh, I was walking on a bridge and the lights on the bridge went multicolored. Um, you guys probably know Canby Street Bridge, right? In Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the walk lights on the outside of the bridge, they changed into multicolored and they went up and down two they, times. They don't do that on their own? Never seen that in my life. And I was like, oh, I got on my camera, you know, and it, it Did you happened. contact the city and say, does this, do you guys do this? No, no, no. So so I, I was walking home and I was looking for them and having seen what they look like three previous times. Um, you know, Vancouver's got the same thing that most major cities have, a lot of light pollution, so you don't really yeah. see stars too much. Yeah. And I went to this park by my house on the way home and I, I looked up and there was one right above my head. And I was like, maybe that's them. And, I, you know, you would walk a couple feet to get a different angle. And then I looked up and it was above my head again. I was like, what the fuck? So I, so I go and I walk. What is the light? Yeah, this like star looking thing, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So then I get there. I walk another block and it's still above my head. And I realize this thing's following me home. But if it's a certain distance, it's going to, isn't it always going to be above you or no? No, because as you get further away, you can actually get this, like, let's say it's right here. And yeah. it's like way up there. You can walk a couple feet and you can have it more to, you know, 35, 45 degree angle. Okay. So when I get so when I get home, I put it. I I've got um, you know the ledge of the roof, so straight edge. Yeah. And I close one eye and I see it. It's dancing. It's doing S patterns, and there's multiple of them. The light, the thing up the yeah, sky is the, doing that. Yeah, the white orb, right, which looks like a star. I've, I've seen footage where a bunch of them little ones came out of one. Yes, board. I've yeah, seen all the footage. Like, yeah. yeah, I'd have to find that video. I have one where there's some dropping out. Oh, no way. So yeah. what's it doing? So it's way up there. So it's just kind of putting on a little dance show, whatever, for me, right? So I was like, I was so happy to see them again, right? Because I had actually called them that night, right? I had said, I want to see you again. So the next night I go out, I said, oh, it'd be cool to see them again, but I don't want to bother them. Maybe they're doing something, whatever, right? Right. Yeah. I get back to on my walk to the bridge, and the lights do the same shit again that I'd never seen again before. Just the night before was the first time I'd ever seen it. So I but said, what if yes. it was on a timer or something like that? You know, I don't know. Well, well, here's the thing. So then I look up and there it is. Now it's on the horizon, okay? And it's following me as I walk. I stop walking, it stops moving. And it's always keeping the same position. Then I look over here and there's another one following me. And I'm like, this is pretty cool. By the time I get to the park, there's like 12 or 14 of them this night. Holy, Holy shit. shit, man. And I'm like, well, this is, this is what the heck, right? I go out, I go out another, the next morning, and this is when I realized, this is the one that will blow your mind, is that they can actually cloak as crafts and present themselves as helicopters, drone-like objects, and planes. So I go on a walk, and this helicopter is circling me like this. I'm like, what the hell? I get, I, what if it was just me? a police copter going, okay, who's this guy? The suspect down there. Well, I'm, like, I'm like, what? We got, yeah, I know. So I'm thinking, okay, whatever. I said, maybe I got the government on me already, right? Because yeah. I've seen them two nights. Maybe they're already in a, on me, right? Like, you know, yeah, you see that yeah. black helicopter stuff in the States. Yes. So I get up to the top of this park, and it's been following me. And then I stop, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting my camera out. And the helicopter comes up and it stops right in front of me, side profile, and just waits there for like five minutes. I'm just watching it, taking pictures of it. And then I go my way, it takes off. So then I'm like, okay, and they were there in the morning. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. And then I start going back to this bridge and they start turning off, I'll show you a video. They start turning off lights. I go, oh, can you make this one blue? And then it turns blue. And, they, and as I'm walking, they're turning the lights off, turning them on. And you guys know Science World, right? That big ball? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Science World just kind of glitters, right? The ball, you know, they might change yeah. the color, but it just kind of twinkles a bit. Yeah. They do emojis, man. Face emojis, like smiling face. They do one laughing. They do all this stuff. They turn it off. You know City Hall? It's got the, the, fun, the fun, funky lights and stuff. Yeah. They got, I got video of them making it blink and turn all kinds of different colors and shit. That's wild. And are you telling them, like, yeah, yeah, in I'll, your mind? yeah. You know, I'll I'll tell it on the video. I'll go, hey, can you turn these ones back on, or can you change this one? And then they'll do it. Jesus H. Murphy. And, I, and I've gone like many, many nights to prove this, to document this, so I can show people that this is really happening. And then <laughs> I'm going down, and one time there's a helicopter there, and mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the lights to change, and I can hear the helicopter. I know it's them. And then, then they switch the lights, and I go, okay. Now what I didn't show you was this copter. I didn't want to take it off the lights. I said this craft is actually them. And then as I get further down the bridge, the helicopter comes around again, 
And then I'm like, there it is again. It's following me. This is the one I was telling you about, you know, up in the mid span. Yeah. And then again, they start playing with the lights in front of me. Do, 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 and you can see them changing colors. And I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's wild. Yeah. Okay, so just I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Absolutely. How do we know it's not just a helicopter flying around? And they're investigating something. They're trying to find something. Absolutely. And, and this is around. one of the reasons I'm I'm out here, right? Because there's a UFO conference coming up on on this weekend, yeah. and I want to show my footage to people because if any of your, your fans out there are watching, you know, the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch and you see... You I'm know, watching that. Yeah, Travis Taylor, he's got the white orb. And yeah. And then a helicopter comes out of nowhere and he's like, where's this helicopter from? Yeah. And, and I paused it. I go, Mom, that's that helicopter is not the government, you know. That's right. them. They showed up. They just cloak as a helicopter. This but time. some helicopters have to be helicopters, Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. It's just so... Um, the, one of the things I want, I want to get introduced to Travis and then, you know, get talk to him. And if you want to study, you know, the white orbs and, you know, I don't have any anomalies, you know, like the triangle or whatever in that show. But yeah. come study the white orbs. They follow me everywhere I go. So catch But when one. the lights were changing and the, the dome thing, what's it called? The science center? Yeah, the science world. Yeah. Science world. You were telling them with your mind to change colors of lights and then it would do it? Yeah, like I'll just ask him, I'll say, hey, tonight, I, here's what I need you to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I'll say, we're going to film on the bridge, at, you know, play with Science World. I want to do the lights again. Then we're going to go to the beach. They'll follow me to the beach. I got the, you know, them on the North Shore Mountains. And what happens when I film the white orb on the North Shore Mountains, which is really trippy, because I'll look at it through binoculars while I've got the uh, camera set up on a tripod. Yeah. You can actually see red and white orbs blinking on and off. And then when you look on the video which is due to the quality of the, of the camera. Like as soon as I render it and try to upload it, you lose that. Okay. But I can show it to you on there. You can actually, you can see them capturing, like moving through the film and blinking on and off. And there's like hundreds of these things. And it's not an artifact from the film. And I, got a, I, I got a question for you. Would you be interested in trying to rent like a football field? We sell tickets, maybe pay for you. We get out there, throw some lights up and stuff. You. Tell, hey, guys, here we go. down here, yeah. fill the fucking stadium. Money, money, money. Let's watch this. Let's have a fuck unbelievable light show that's from Out of This World. He's basically a asking... A light show from Out of This World. That's, that's, that's what we sell see. tickets and then it's you can control It's a great business it. idea, absolutely. I get, I get where he's going with that. Oh, it'd be the, easy. The challenge, so the challenge you have burgers. with that is that some people aren't ready to see them. But you know what? You'll tell them... <laughs> we should go on mushrooms, do bass or whatever, get a good buzz. Oh, I'd be ready. Come to on see out, it. throw some rave music in there I too. The I, light I show. I think I'm ready, but I don't know. I'm fucking ready. Freak me out. I'm ready to do that. Well, that's that's the thing. Like I, I've been able to show them to people. I'll say, hey, you want to see one? I'll, I'll like I literally bring them outside the restaurant and go, it's going to be right here, and then there it is, right? It's waiting for us. But on decent. On, but cool. it hasn't worked once, and and I realized because the guy was afraid. Because what they understand your life path and your the they energy, don't want to they, they, they don't want to damage your psyche right yeah you have to be at a certain level at a certain point in your life or your openness because man some people think they're demons right this like so why is the world going to be ready when they you you're saying like next year or whatever because obviously maybe they're saying you're not ready to fucking see it I've right? got a theory okay so why is are people going to be ready then because I've got a theory sure, can I say the my world? theory and you tell me. Sure. You've been saying this a lot, like for How a long bananas time. How bananas? And I mean, this is just something off the top of my head. I think that we have completely destroyed the fucking planet because we're idiots, right? And it's going to burn up and it's going to, you know, climate change. We've, changed, we've caused all this. I think the aliens are the only ones that might be able to fix it. So now they're going, okay, everybody, aliens exist. So don't be freaked out when they come and fix the planet for us. That'd be awesome. To Maybe. Fix it. I don't know. Well, I think I think what they will do by showing up is that I don't think they'll fix the planet. I mean, they could. Could they? Know, that, that depends. Could probably. they reverse climate change and make it stop? Yeah, I think, I think what we need first is to come together as one, right? Do you know what I mean? I agree. And, I agree with that a thousand other. percent. Everybody yeah. want, everybody's fighting over. Fuck all this fighting I can't see it happening. It's all joined together many, and there's too, fucking too much night. money at stake. No, there's, yeah, exactly. There's too many fucked up people out there. Yeah, that's too much the, money at stake. That's the ego and the narcissism of the world, right? Yeah, the materialistic the view of everything, right? You know? Right. 
Um, once you realize who you are and who everybody is, then you would want to help everybody because you would you would live in an abundant world because there would be no secrets kept. We wouldn't need to buy you know the latest iPhone every single year. Like I mean, right? right. Because mo the reason most people buy things, you think they have iPhones? Uh, they got eye brains, right? Eye brains, <laughs> eye brains. Oh, you know, and that, nice. There's that no would be a big seller. There's a there's a book called The Kai yeah. which is an old book. Um, K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N, and it talks about how the number one law, hermetic principle, is that the universe is mental, which means it's a thinking substance. Okay. So, so it, it's the energy and your ability to use your mind to tap into it all, right? I think, therefore, I am. Yes. Rene Descartes. Well, this one, bud. Hey? Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's actually, it, if you think about it, people think they are their minds. You're not your mind. Your mind uses you, usually, because it thinks of the worst scenarios. Oh, nice. mine does all the time. Yeah, and, and this keeps you trapped. And then the one way to start to escape, you know, this matrix or whatever you want to call it, is being present in the moment and realizing that there are no problems. There's only things to take care of. George Harrison used to say that. George Harrison from the Beatles used to say that. All that matters is the exact moment you're in right now. That's right. And the only time people are in that moment is... You know when you get close to getting in a car accident and you're like, you're on the brakes, you're doing whatever to avoid it. Yeah. And there's nothing else. Everything slows down and you're just like, you're not thinking about like, did I turn off the stove? You're just like trying to avoid this thing. Right. And then everything's fine and peaceful. Then as soon as you get past it, you start to think, oh my God, I could have died. I could have And then your mind starts creating yeah. this whole drama. Yeah, I do that. I mean, you have to be in the moment. Otherwise you get fucking smushed. You can't predict your next thought. That's pretty deep. Think about it. Yeah, and don't don't be attached <laughs> to what it talks. You know, it's it's a it's on a loop. It's just speaking That's to you right, like man. it's just you like can't this other thing. Protect your next thought. That's it's true. Because if man. you try to, you're not you're not your next thought, man. It's your thought. It's already gone by. That's right. <laughs> nice work, Julian. That's right, man. So you're going Dude. to a UFO conference. Yep. It's, it's about the Shag Harbor incident, which is pretty famous. One of the most yes. famous. UFO incidents ever in Nova Scotia? Yeah, yeah, so a lot of people probably don't know. Can you tell them what happened? Well, to be honest on that one, I, I'm not fully up to speed on that one. This is one of the reasons I'm going there. It was, it was in the that. 50s, right? Yeah. No, it was in October 4th, 1967. Okay, 11, 20, 60s. 60s. There was a lot of witnesses. And a whole there. bunch of people witnessed it. Tons. Even I think pilots. there was a, like a thing and people could see, you know, lights on it. And then it went shooting down into the ocean, right? It crashed. And they thought it was an airline crash. It was like 20 or 30 people and they could, But then the they could see it on the water moving around, and then the it went under. Way. So the three RCMP officers actually went down to investigate because they thought it was a plane crash. <clears throat> so it was a bunch of witnesses, but three of them were police officers, and they all saw the same thing, this big orange sphere the size of a school bus, and it eventually sank. And But there was no planes missing. They searched all that. But all kinds of people saw it, oh, right? Yeah, man. All described it the exact same way and saw the same thing. Jesus. Yeah, it's fucked up. So maybe there's an underwater base, you know, that they went down Well, there down was a secret the... U.S. base that they were disguised as some geographical station. Yes, there was a U.S. military base on the land down there, so they think they were coordinating some kind of arrival and things got fucked up. And... But they never found anything on the bottom of the ocean where they... they to the stake and well, because probably something opened up and it went in and she closed. That's what would happen. There's a lot of crazy shit. We'll probably on. find out more about it this, this week. Anyway. Yeah, there's so many good ones. Like that Grush guy that I talked about, that high ranking intelligence office, official that testified for Congress, he talked about how the Vatican actually picked up a UFO in 1933 and they had possession of it. Wow. And the, oh, US, so, and the US actually got it from them like in the late they 30s, got it from early them. 40s, you know, for the technology Lucky and man. stuff. But, um, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of people. That Maybe the Pope tried to away, turn them into altar you know, boys or something. These secrets, right? You know, trying to divulge them. Could you try to like maybe think, hey guys, come down and like let's talk, let's one on one to one. Like I want to. Yeah, see have you ever tried close. to get one to like, hey, hey okay, I want let's have a there. drink at Dooley's. That's well, right. absolutely. <laughs> I, I've cool. I've 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 tried. <laughs> right now, it's a one way communication. You know, maybe they send me certain things that I'm not aware that it's them. Yeah. But uh, I, I want to open up a communication because yeah, I, I know some people that are in communication with some. And you they, do? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I got into the Archangel Michael stuff. But uh, 
you guys actually seen the Ophanim angel that like came out of the sky and just this like majestic pure love being was like, you know, it's like it was incredible. You know people that have seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's think it's they starting were on... to become more common that people are, you know, well, you accessing... mentioned MDMA. Do you think they were on that when they saw no. that or? No, and you, you know, you don't have to be on anything once you tap into it. It's just like your brain starts to operate at a different frequency, I think, you know, and they're studying that, you know, but they're. Yeah. I think you should get into that because his brain is totally at a different frequency. I'm so frequency fucking freaked out right now. I don't know what to think. I'm just used it, man. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm trying to, try to, to I knew they were real. I knew they were fucking real. I saw some. Oh, I believe. So I was always I fucked up at the time, so I didn't. It's absolutely. Like, maybe it wasn't it's real. It's mathematically impossible that we're the only people Agreed. in the fucking universe. Yeah. There's, there's no like, possible way. There's like thousands of other planets out there. Thousands. They had more than that, man. Holy fuck, Ricky. Ricky, they're saying there's four trillion fucking galaxies that all have like a hundred billion stars in them. That's still thousands, just a lot of thousands. Oh, he... See, yes, he's a different frequency, with. man. He's at a different frequency. Ricky's yeah. on his own frequency. He's on like AM, you know yeah. what I mean? Like 530 no, like AM. FM, like what's the highest? 109? No, it's me. <laughs> Ricky, you're a, you're not up at 109. All right, well, I well, would love to see some of yes. these orbs and stuff. That would be really cool. Yep. So what I, what I'll show you first is just Science World. You guys have seen it many times. You guys have been in Vancouver so many yes, times. We've yes, we've been to Science World. So <clears throat> keep it on this. This right now they they turned it off, so you can't see it. They, this is when they they were doing something before here. You can see you're playing with the lights. There's a, there's a plane. This one, this one, the ones that follows me, okay? okay. They, they fly over me all the time while I'm filming. So you can see they turn it off. Now watch what happens a little further down over here. Look at that. They make a happy face with the lights. Then they change it in a happy face giggling. And this normally doesn't do this? No, it never does this. Oh my God. And then changes into, you know, various things like, you know, whatever. But are we sure they weren't just, you know, playing with some new, they got a new thing that plugs in and it's like Philips Hue or whatever? Well, it's it's every time I show up and they're there with me and they switch it. <clears throat> so that's, you know, you know what I mean? You got to have, you know, there's correlation so the, there. Yeah. The chances of that happening, yeah. Like, it's, that's, and it's not one night. It's like six, seven nights. It's basically any time, up. any night I want to go there and I say, hey, play with the lights on the bridge. And do we know it? Do we know that it doesn't do that when you're not there? Yeah. No, no, no one's ever seen it do that. Um, so what do people say when they see this happening? Well, you see people on the bridge, like, taking pictures. Like, well, check this out, you know. <laughs> they, I, I'm not going to say, no, UFOs are doing feel it. Like <laughs> we should, yeah. I feel like we should call the city. You know, just to you, yeah, absolutely inside that this, thing, this and all of a sudden you're a janitor, and all of a sudden this fucking emoji pops up and freak the shit out of you. And this is the thing, right? Because because I have a helicopter and I have a timestamp. I'm like, tell, uh, does that helicopter have a transponder? Then it's easy to relate with air traffic control, right? So you can you could correlate. You could that, look right? her up but on I need flight radar twenty four. To, to prove my point, right? Flight radar 24, I'll get to the bottom of that. So what they'll do is they'll play games with me. Like this video, I'd filmed the, me walking across the bridge, like about 15 minute walk, and they hadn't turned on the lights. <clears throat> as soon as I turned off my camera, then they changed these lights so on the bridge. See You'll see this. So these are the lights, right? Yeah. And they turned on. I said, okay, watch this. Let's wait a second, because they're going to do something with the lights. And then boom. Oh, there we go. So you turn them off, they turn them red. Now they turn them green. Turn them blue. Turn them orange. But maybe they just got new bulbs they were testing out or something. Maybe. Bulbs, that's kind of fucked up. That is pretty crazy. No, I know. I'm just saying, you know, I like to, I like to, you know, think of all the possibilities. That's all. Because <clears throat> so, Philips Hue makes some beautiful lights well, these they days. Do. Yeah, I know. You've, you've Philips got Hue has some gorgeous lights that you can control with your phone. Are they giving you money to say that? No. They should be. Well, the only thing, it was kind of dusk, right? And then the, the street lights popped on, and then those, maybe it was just like a setting or something. I popped this on, and then it went through a cycle. I mean, I think it's cycle. fascinating. I don't know anything about these lights. I so, just like to, so, you know, play gavel's ass. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. So I always go to this restaurant at night, because I, I, I just go there, you know, whatever, have a drink, and then just wait for it to get dark enough to film. Yeah. And every time I come out of the restaurant, it's either going to be an orb in between the buildings waiting for me, or it's going to be right yeah. above me. So this night, it was, it was kind of cloudy, and I'd seen them do this red-green kind of drone shape, okay? Yeah. But it makes zero sound, and it blinks in and out. So as I got out, 
I saw it above me and they're waiting for me, blinking like here. And then I forgot to say, to push record on my video. And I'm like, wait, 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 stop. And they stop. No way. And then I get the camera going <clears throat> and then. You have I'm this? getting an iPhone 15, it's waiting for me back home, but. Oh yeah, you need an iPhone 15 to capture this in high res. Yeah, so there it is right there. See it blinking? Yeah. It right. stops and it's waiting for me. And then it zooms off. And then it loses it for a bit, I, I think after this, but. And then it, it now, just. Now could that it be just, just some kid with a drone though, just fucking around? Yeah, no, I totally get, get people thinking that. It makes no noise, but it's waiting for me. And then I've got another video of it from the other mm -hmm. night where it was like following me. Okay. Well, so it disappeared. Now it's gone. It just blinks out. Or did it pop up? Over? Oh yeah, it popped up over there, and then it'll blink out. Oh yeah, might have been. Yeah. Was it cloudy? Like, no, it's or? gone. No, well, not at that level, right? It's only maybe like a hundred, two hundred feet up in the oh, air or whatever. Jesus so Murphy. So yeah, there's there's just so much stuff. Try to find you some of the white orbs. Oh, let's try to find it. Okay, check this out. This is a white orb, low on the uh, low on the horizon. Okay, this is not a plane, obviously. Yeah. See how bright this light is. So this one, I was actually sending it a message because this was one of the nights before I left, and I said, "Okay, you got to blink out for me. I need you to blink out." And I'm like concentrating really hard. I'm like, "Blink out, blink out," and you'll see it will blink out in a second because you can see it's moving. So you're right? sending it mind messages. Yeah. Right across the harbor. Yeah, and you can see it's moving in relation to the buildings. I'm not moving anywhere, right? Yeah. And then right near this end, it's going to... It's going to uh, I would have been saying these people walk across the bridge, hey, you motherfuckers, see, there it goes. that light. Oh, God. And then it but goes. could it be... What? Could it be somebody Jack and deer? It's the city, Bob. It's it's <laughs> well, no, but that's over on the mountain, isn't it? No, no, that's, uh, that's actually... You know where West Broadway is? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's that way. That's facing that way. Oh, okay. Somebody yeah. jacking. So, well, so, I just so was wide. thinking maybe it's a pickup truck, and then some of the cops came, so they turned their light off. So, so this is can be facing west, and that's Granville Street Bridge. So it's, that's just a new construction. But, okay. like, so. but okay. this is why, like in in Vancouver, I know where to position them, so so I can get you know I can see them moving against buildings or going backwards, and they do all kinds of different things. And I can't wait to get my new phones because that's going to help yeah. me with resolution and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Because the GoPro is good for... And how much but, control, like how specific could you get? Say, okay, okay, boys, go out yeah. over the water there and do a loop-de-loop -loop and maybe, you know, yeah. spell out my name or something. Maybe you could tell them. Well, well there's certain things I can position them in certain areas. Like on the North Shore Mountains, I go to, you know, the Jericho Beach across the way. I'll go and I'll set up my tripod so I'm facing like West Vancouver. Yeah, and the mountains, okay. you know how you know how there's you know it's built up to a certain level. They'll sit right above it, and then they'll, like I'll get there and they'll already positioned like on like the orb will already be on, and then what you'll see is there's one I swear it's, it looks like a crap because these white lights come in on the water and activate, but you need to scrub it a little bit to see the action, and I, I I'd show that to you, but I don't know exactly which one it is, but one of them it drops orbs out of it. And then in the other ones, you're seeing like blinking of all these. Um, all Do you ever these tell them like, hey, can you guys come in a little bit closer? Come closer and start dropping those things out. Yeah, I try, but. I this, when so I went to Deep Cove, which is like, this is pitch black. So it's this one, this is an orb right here. You can barely see it, but um, I had, no. so think of the stars above you, right? Like you can see some stars this night, right? Yeah. This is pretty, it was a nice clear night over there and it's dark. And there was one bright one always behind me, and I knew that was the one. Yeah. So I had the GoPro trying to film some some other orbs and stuff, and it wasn't really working enough, you know, because the GoPro wasn't enough light to, to for it to set right. Okay. But then I looked up at this one, and I decided I'm going to move. And then I grabbed my phone, and then it was like, <sighs> start moving. And this is it moving. Look at that, yeah. So, some of it is my shape, and I tried to stabilize it, but it it moved, you know, quite a bit. It was just moving around. So, so this was me recentering it and then just showing it. You can see it, like, you can see it moving. Do you think, well, okay, here's a question. So if you're, you know, in tune with them, with your mind, what if there's somebody else in the city that's also in tune and they're moving them spots you didn't want them to move to? Like, 
Do you think there's other people that can do this or is it just you? you no, know what I mean? Yeah, there's some other people around the world that are that are having the same experience. Like one guy I was, I was chatting with on, on X, you know, formerly Twitter or whatever. Yeah. He said they've been following him for three years. Wow. So this is this is. So that would get doing. annoying if you're trying to, you know, tell him to do this, but buddy, you know, he's twenty or thirty blocks away, and he's telling them to do something else. They're gonna get, aren't they? Gonna get angry? Well, how many people are really aware that this is happening to them? Right? There's not that yeah. many yet. And how many of the craft are there up there? Here's a question. Sounds for you. like there's a lot. The, the guy you're talking to on Twitter, he's been doing it for three and a half years. Does he? Do you think? Does he have like a stronger communication because he's known them longer? Than you, like, could he say, that's, "Hey, come closer, dude"? That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there, Thanks, guys. there could be limited into what they want to portray or d display, right? Just because of other people that are around. Like, you know, I know that there's they don't there's freak people out too bad. Yeah, there's a there's a website that that deals with a it's called Gaia.com, and they they there's a show called Cosmic Disclosure, and one of the guys has been having experience his whole life. He's a Spanish guy. And slowly, they've been getting more and more, giving them more access, like like you were saying. Mm -hmm. And he's he's been he's met them, and he's been on craft. Mm -hmm. What? And, and even oh, the guy shit. that's been that he's been on their shit. Yeah, the, the guy that was talking to the angels, or not the angels, but the aliens, and saw the angel that I met. He had been on on a mothership, mm -hmm. and he said it's just pure love. They're entities, you know. They did like a meditation ceremony and everything, and he, he was on. The he craft. did that with the aliens. Yeah. Jesus. You know what it's like? It's those, like those videos where you see someone starting to feel like gain the trust of a wild animal. Then you get, they get closer and closer and you feed them and they're feeding out of your hand. Next thing you know, they're in your fucking shoulder, shitting all over your house. One of the family. That's what well, it's I like. No, that. That's, that's well, you know what I mean. It's like. It's good energy. Yeah, thanks, man. That's what makes me feel. I mean, he <laughs> was on their ship. He that's, knows somebody. I, know, I know, man. That's what I'm talking about. This, this is You've got to get to the point where you can get the fuck on that ship. Well, then you get into you get into how can they track you all the time, right? Then that leads to people talking about chip implants, and now we're really getting uh, down yeah, there, right? Man. And one of the things, like my my half brother, he had seen a gray at his bed when he was three. Mm -hmm. And back then, you know, this a gray is a type of alien, right? Yeah, the little there's the, tall the typical whites, ones. Yeah, there's right? the Nordics, yeah, all that Nordics. stuff, reptilians, whatever. There's there's many different races that they say are interacting with us right now. Do you know do you know um, Octopi? Charles Hall? No. Do you know who Charles Hall is? There's a video, he's it talks he worked at, you know, not Area 51, but there's an even more secret base that he worked at, and he describes he knew the tall whites, he used to talk to them. Yeah, and then there's these insectoids, like the praying mantis types, that are like 10, 12 feet. Jesus, that would be so those, scary. Man. Imagine would, seeing like a 12 foot insect. Fuck out of me. Yeah, where, yeah, the, where the are they at? Are they walking around? <laughs> and then they talk about hybrids, that there could be alien hybrids and stuff. And you know, there's so much. Yeah, stuff. like there's half so electric, much, half like, gas conjecture. Half like human, nobody knows alien. the whole story or whatever. There's just so much stuff going on at, at the same time. How many? But, how many do you think there are? Or do you know how many there are? Different, you know. Yeah, I don't know, because even you look at, uh, what's that guy's name? Paul Hellier. He was the former Canadian defense minister, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? He Defo fucking, he said, oh, yeah, 100% we've been dealing with Yeah, aliens. he talked about Jesus the Galactic Christ. Federation, where they're yes. actually working with us. and uh, you know, He's on, the, I think he's on the Charles Hall video that I watched. That's for Charles cool. Hall, he's like, oh, fuck, I talked to tall whites many times. And he described them, and he said they... They they used to bring them into Las Vegas and they would just go to the casinos and they would just, you know, look around and they were all thought it was really amazing. But you can spot them if you know what you're looking for because they're tall, right? And they got a bit of a weird look to them, but they would wear sunglasses. But he said what you could tell, their legs bent slightly backwards the wrong way. So if you were like a crane. A little bit like a crane, not like full on, you know, backwards, but they Golden would. Crane? No, like a, like a, you know, like a flamingo. Here's a question for you. When Buddy went into the casinos with the tall whites, did he use them to make some fucking money? I don't think he so was using. I was thinking like that too. I'd see, like, I'm not the. See, I'm not the only one. But imagine how easy they could fucking count cards. Totally. 
Well, they can see probably through the cards. See, just that's you, right. You no, know, some people actually have that skill, right? You can uh, they can pick up the the different color energy. So if you could pick up the color energy, you could mm -hmm. actually pick up. Oh the yeah, you could. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, totally Julian bad. would fuck. Just die to have he that would die to have that power. <laughs> well, this he could been, see through the back cards. He'd live in Las Vegas. This has been one of the most interesting Park After Darks, I have to say. It's yeah. a little bit over my head, but Bubs, I think Very you're sciencey, pretty man. blown away. Oh no, I I. I think it's fascinating. I, had the perfect and I would love to see too. some of these. Hopefully we can see some tonight or sometime. Yeah, no, that'd be great if they can come out and stuff. That'd be that'd be super for sure. Could we summon them? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do that. I just like I was saying earlier, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where we could do it here because there's a lot of military presence, right? You got Shearwater, you got the Navy. And they don't base. like that? Well, I don't think I don't think they want to disturb the military too much. But the um, friendly zone. But they could probably just, you know. And if we can get the in. skies to clear up, it'd be really nice because if it was a clear sky, I could I could point them out to you. And, the and you could actually forest see fire smoke from when the they're here. The, you'll actually you can actually witness a star reposition itself. And it's not a satellite or the space station. It'll actually go like from here to here, and you're like, okay, that's them. <laughs> oh, I would uh, if I could see a fucking yeah. something go. Boop. Well, you know what we got to do? We got to summon these things. We got to see if our frequency together maybe. Boom. Well, right. maybe I can even sell them now and see if they, see if we can get on. planes flying over this place, and then you'd be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> right. That would be decent. That would be decent. Get her going. Well, I hope you have a really good convention this weekend. We'll, uh, Thanks. I think, yeah, someone's going to be filming a lot of it, so we'll get to see the footage. Yes, the swearing that people are going to fall. It's and, fucking fascinating to me. Yeah, man. We're going to hear all kinds of other stories as well. Oh, I've got a million more questions. Million more. Decent. Well, thanks for having me, guys. It's been, it's been Thank great you very much. Yeah, we'll... Thank you, buddy. If you're ever back on the East Coast, you're welcome anytime. Yeah, thanks, absolutely. Man. Cheers, brother. Keep Cheers, updating man. us on your journey. This is fucking crazy. So 2026. That's what it, that's what they, it's been. I, that, I haven't been told, but that's what's been told to many people. 2026, 27 wow. time frame. Wow. So and will that involve we'll the happens. Archangel, or is that a different thing? I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I mean, it's... it's so many uh, different, um, you know, people speaking similar terms, but yeah. not exactly the same. So you, you don't okay. know what the whole picture is, right? It's very, yeah. Hmm. Where can people, if people want to follow your, your stuff or your videos, where do they find those? Yeah, you can find me on um, Instagram, X, and YouTube, and it's at Tau of MJ. So T A O O F and M J is in there. Tau of MJ. Yeah. Tau of MJ. yeah. Which stands for the way of the magical journey. That's what Tao means? Yeah, because Taoism is the way. You know, this yeah. one, you know, the yin yang symbol. Yeah, yeah. And so the way of the magical journey. Bruce because Lee had a book called The Tao of Jeet yeah, Kune Do. Did, man. He did. Yeah. So that was probably Bruce Lee. You know, read that in jail. It's very good. You didn't read yes, that did. in jail. Well, I looked at the pictures. All right, that's it. We're done. My brain needs to have a nap now, and uh, I got to mix another drink. All right. Um, all right. Thanks for tuning in once Cheers. again. Thank we'll you. See you next time. Yeah.